Hey lovers and love seekers, I, 33 to M, can't get over my past experience with a girl, 26F. So I thought it might help if I share my story and read some of your comments. So I met this one girl on a party last year, October, and we instantly had a good vibe and connected. I promised myself to go slow with her and take time with everything and I did. So we went out on our first three dates in about one month period and slowly came closer, texting almost every day. On our fourth date we went to the movies and that's when our first kiss happened. It was magical and felt great. That's when we also started holding hands and hugging and we really enjoyed each other. Things were going great, and we kept texting and meeting like at least once a week. She was always a little busy with university and work, so I respected that and didn't push at all. In mid of December, she sent me a three-minute voicemail telling me that she enjoys everything as it is and that she wants to keep dating me and see where things will go but that she is not looking for a relationship right now. My first instinct was like, oh no, damn it, because I really liked her, and I'm not the guy for or casual dating and sex. But I tried to play it cool and said it's okay, because at that time there were plenty of girls interested in dating me, and I was like, okay, NVM, let's try and see what will happen. I then went on a three-week vacation in Spain. We kept texting every day a lot, and I couldn't wait to go back and meet up with her again. So when I came back home on a Sunday, she instantly asked me if we could meet up on Monday at her place. I was happy to see her again, and so in the evening I went there, and we had a great, great time, kissing and cuddling. I felt a little insecure about going to the next step. I knew she wanted it. It was really hot and... We both were horny af, But I didn't want to, because I knew the first time would be over so fast. Because I stopped touching myself months ago, and we wouldn't have much time for round two and three. I didn't know how to tell her. So I left her horny and went home. The next day I texted her that we should talk, and so we talked, and I told her that going intimate with another person means a lot to me, and is not something I do a lot. And I also told her that I have to have strong feelings towards another person before having sex with them, and also that I am more of a relationship guy. Still I couldn't bring up my fear of the first time being over so fast. I just didn't feel comfortable telling her. We met up again like five days later at my place, and we both knew it was going to happen. And so it did. We still had a great time that evening, but the sex wasn't good and over very fast, even though we did go for two rounds. I didn't feel great after that meeting, and so we texted again and I asked her how she felt about that night. She was happy that I asked, and she told me she felt like I couldn't let go, and that I was a little under tension. Few days passed, and we went together with some friends to a party in our city. She was a little distant that day, and I decided to give her some free space, and I enjoyed the party with my friends. On that party were also other people I knew, and one of them, a guy, left with us. We were a group of about seven people. While we were walking to a friend's place, she connected with that guy, and I didn't intervene, because as stated before, we were not in a relationship. The guy wasn't invited to the friend's place, and he left. The rest of us went there to relax. She still was very distant, and not up for cuddling or anything, and I didn't push. Okay. So after a few days, we still kept texting. She told me she wants to go on a date with that guy from the party and first. I didn't say anything. When the date came closer, I didn't feel good about it and told her that I don't like her going on a date with someone I know. 
She was like, okay, good to know. But I should have told her earlier and she didn't want to cancel it like one hour before happening. So they went on a date. But it wasn't special. Or something, and yeah. Few days later, I didn't feel good. Still felt insecure about our first time. And also her wish for dating others. And I told her how I feel. Her answer was something like, I'm very busy. Many people want to see me. I can only make time like every two or three weeks. Receiving this answer, I decided to step back and told her that I want to distance myself. She was like, oh, okay, I understand. And she also doesn't feel good if I'm struggling so much with everything and we sighed our goodbyes. And after cutting the connection, I instantly felt good again with myself and everything. Few days later, she sent me a big text telling me that she is sad how everything went and that she would like to see me again and to see if we can work things out. I was happy for her message because it showed me that our connection was also meaningful to her and I decided to give it another try and so we talked. We talked a little, cuddled a lot. She told me how sorry she was about the one message and blah blah. From then on, everything was good. We had a great time together, we saw each other like four times in eight days, had good sex, good time, everything perfect. On the last meeting she told me she has a date planned with a guy from a dating app and I don't know. It triggered me again. Also the way she was talking about him like, <clears throat> he's a musician and she made a gesture like being horny and wanting to sleep with him, and I told her that I can't cope with that. So we decided that we might try just being friends. So we spent a day together without kissing or anything. It was okay, but not the real thing. One week later, she sent me a message telling me she's late on her period, like one or two days. I was like, okay, because one or two days are quite normal. Just one or two days later, she was again very distant and told me that she feels left alone, that I don't care so much about her maybe being pregnant. She also made an early test which was negative and I don't know. It's normal that the period can be late up to six or seven days, so I didn't really bother much. I wanted to make up for being disinterested, so we met to talk for like ten minutes. She was very distant again, and very ugly behaviour towards me, and I was angry about that. Few days later, she sent me a message that she got her period. Thanks God. We had planned that she comes over to my place on Wednesday, so we would cook and eat together. But after everything what happened, I didn't feel like it. Told her, and we cancelled the meeting. On Friday, she sent me WhatsApp with texts, how are you, how was your day, blah, blah, blah. I really was not in the mood texting with her, and I told her not to text me again because I needed time for myself. She went very angry, saying it's so childish of me to cancel contact again, and blah, blah, blah. We said our goodbyes again. A week later, we saw each other at the same party, and didn't even say hello to each other. I really didn't like how everything went, so I texted her, like she texted me before after the first cut. But she was like, No, I don't feel it anymore. I don't want any contact again. I accepted it. After almost two weeks, I still didn't feel good about the situation. So I texted her again, and she was like, I thought I made clear I don't want any contact again. I don't feel our connection anymore. I told her that this was my last try, and she won't hear anything from me again. After that, I went through rough four weeks. I was very sad and depressed, but I also took my time to process everything and to understand what happened. We saw each other again on a party ten days ago. We didn't talk, just one time when she walked. Besides me, she touched my arm but didn't say anything. And also because we both know some same people, 
Once she sat down close to me while I was there with two friends, and another friend who was with her sat down to me too, and she just joined, not talking to me at all. So I got up and left with the others. All in all, I'm still not over it 100%, thinking every day about what happened and all. It was a very important experience. I learned a lot about myself and my boundaries. I still miss the time we had because I never vibed with anyone like that. It's the emptiness which is killing me after we were so close and shared so much. Time and memories. Thank you everybody who made it so far. I think I never wrote a big ass text like this. Feel free comment on whatever you like. Sending much love to you guys. Hope love will find and stay with you. You did nothing wrong. You might feel that way because you're the one that initiated the last break, so it's natural to feel a certain way about her not responding to your apologies the way you would have wanted her to. Your reaction was normal. You were growing feelings and wanted her to take you more serious. It's okay to be honest. As she was, and told you she didn't want anything serious. But to be so comfortable talking about dating other PPL is not. She told you she wasn't into getting into anything serious, and it seems like she meant that. You unfortunately caught feelings, and they are stronger than hers, and that is totally okay. You have to really evaluate if the way you're feeling is because the ball left your court. Me as a female have never been comfortable with casual dating. If someone were to tell me they weren't looking for something serious, that would be my cue to exit, no matter how much it hurt.